Hello, my name is Brian Fisher. I'm an application engineer with ProLim, and today we'll be going over an NX install guide. The first thing we want to look at here is to make sure that your software and your hardware are compatible to run NX. You can do this by going to the Siemens website, going into hardware information and NX certification information. On this page here, I show the operation systems. Right here, you can see the Windows operation systems, or if it's a Mac. Additionally, up here, you can see the different versions of NX. And if you look down at the guide here, it will tell you if it's limited supported or not supported. In the case today, we'll be doing Windows 10, and we'll be doing a continuous release. That continuous release includes 1847, 1872, in 1899. Here I showed the two examples of the most common of the license configurations. The first one on the right there is the node lock. That's a standalone license on an individual machine. The other one over on the left is a single server configurations. That's where you would put the license file on a server. It'd be a floating license and the other machines can read back to that license. Additionally, there's two other ones, but today we'll just be going over the two common ones. Here we go with an overview of the installation process. The first thing you want to make sure is that you can log on to your workstation as an administrator, perform the pre-installation checks of your Windows systems, install the license, install the NX, and a Siemens NX launcher also is an optional product that you can install. Additionally, you may have to go into your Java runtime environment and set that. You also want to go in and make sure you have enough space. You will need 16.5 gigabytes of free space on your disk. Once you have um, purchased NX, you will receive your license. At that time, you will go into Siemens download here in the GTAC website Go into the 1872 series and download that file. You will have to unzip that file. Once you unzip the file, you will go into that folder and you will hit launch. Over there on the right hand side here, we show how you can install the license manager and NX. This will put you into a wizard that you must follow the prompts. Once you have NX installed, you will want to do the same thing with the license manager. The license manager will be sent to you as a LIC, I mean as, as a Word document. You will have to change the extension to a .lic. Within that, you will have your server name, your host identifier, your vendor domain, your package information, and so on. Here's an example of the license. Within the license here, you can see the vendor. You can also see your server and your composite ID. If you did not provide your host ID at the time of your license, you may have to go in here where it says server A, for example, here, find your host ID and replace that information and save it. Additionally, make sure your composite ID there, your CID matches up with what your machine is. Once you have that, we will then go into LM Tools. Within the LM Tools, you have multiple things that you can do in here. The first thing we want to do is we want to go in and configure our services. You want to go in and browse to make sure you're pulling the correct license because if you are using an older version of NX and updating, you want to verify that you have the correct license. You don't want to be pulling an incorrect license. Once you browse and find it, you go to save your services. Next, you'll want to go and stop your server. You'll see down here it will say stop and server. Next, you'll come over and you'll say start server and make sure it starts successfully. Once you have done that, you will come over here, reread re -read your license and make sure it rereads re it completely. You will then go over to service status, perform a status inquiry. As long as you see up and up here, you should be all right. However, there are times that this will not work 
and you will have to go through some troubleshooting. The first thing you want to do is come over here and view your log. You may see an error there and that may help you figure out your problem. Additionally, you can come in and you can save that log and that can be sent to one of us to help you along the way or GTAC depending on where you got your license. Another means of troubleshooting is to make sure that you are able to ping the server you're working with and make sure that you can see that it is communicating with it. Additionally, you can go into the PML software license tool and look about the license tool there. Within here, you would want to make sure that all this information here matches up with your machine and the information you have provided for your license. If none of this works, you may want to go in and look at your bundle settings. At times, the bundles are not applied. The example I show here is a reseller license. Therefore, we do not show any bundles, but you will have a list of bundles here that you will have to go over and apply. The last thing we want to look at is a port. The normal port to be used is 2800. However, at times, that port may be used and you may have to change that port on your license. To do that, you would go in and follow these steps here and read your port and make sure 2800 is not being used. This is a quick example of how you can go in and install your NX license. Thank you for your time.